pop that jig. Just pop that jig right along that edge. Oh, there it is. You went in? Yeah, I got him. I got him. Nice. Yeah, go another one on. You know, this fog's working in even more. And Terry, you talked about having a plan, working the right, working this plan, and you followed it just exactly like you said we were gonna do. It's amazing. Well, you know, Andy, when you get adverse conditions, you gotta pull out the map, you gotta line up the wind and the tide, you gotta find these good spots to fish, and just get out there and do it. You know, Terry, that's a great point. I think probably the, the hardest part about this fishing is, is actually finding a body of fish. Northeast Angling. We're proud to present inshore and offshore saltwater fishing. We cover every species from fluke and porgies to stripers, sharks, and tuna. You can learn more about techniques, tackle, and destinations at neangling.com. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. We're here today. We're heading down to Barnegat Bay with Captain Terry Sullivan. Take advantage of the spring bite. What do you got in store for us today? And you got to see if we can get on some of these big tide runner weak fish that are coming into the estuaries to spawn. You know, Terry, I, I noticed we got a pretty much a wall of fog moving in here. Um, you prefer types of conditions like this we got today for the weak fishing usually? It should be good, guys. Uh, these low light conditions should help us out all day. We should be able to stay on the bite for most of the morning. Uh, I'm excited. Let's get out of here and let's get started. I'm ready. All right, sounds great. Just pop that jig right along that edge. Oh, there it is. You went in? Yeah, I got him. I got him. Nice. Yeah, go another one on. You know, this fog's working in even more. And Terry, you talked about having a plan, working the right, working this plan, and you followed it just exactly like you said we were going to do. It's amazing. Well, you know, Andy, when you get adverse conditions, you got to pull out the map, you got to line up the wind and the tide, you got to find these good spots to fish, and just get out there and do it. Hey, you know, Terry, that's a great point. I think. Probably the, the hardest part about this fishing is, is actually finding a body of fish because they can be in so many different places, you know? Yeah, well, I mean, once you get on them, I mean, a couple of different presentations are probably going to work. And once again, you just got to get in the right spot. That's not a bad looking fish. No, it's Andy. a good Actually, fish. It just came up out there. That's yeah, a just, good wow. just working the them up to the top now. And this current is screaming. He's got it just keeps breaking back and forth against that current. I should be able to get him here. There he goes. Oh, there he is. There he goes. There he goes. He goes heading the current again. It's a good one, Andy. I'm just going to take my time on this fish and just control him. It's not a bad looking fish at all. He's working the drag. But you're going to net him? Yeah, I'll get him. I should be able to I'm get him. I'm one for here. one. <laughs> yeah, we'll get you know, they, the current's starting to drop out a little bit, but these fish, they st don't seem to have slowed down at all. Yeah, Terry, you grab this one. I'll untangle you from the net. You can you net him up. All right, here we go, guys. He's coming. This fish is close. Man, boy, the current is really working this fish. Well, I'll tell you one thing for sure. We're not going to, no, no lack of bait with this current. <laughs> Here, Here we go, Terry. Oh, I'm just going to take a one. step or two back, get you some room. Beautiful. All right, hang on. So getting his head in the current. There he goes again. And you know, uh, Terry, we talked right. earlier also about the braid mono connection. Okay, here we go. And you nice. know, if you look at this, a lot of times, Andy, when you really he's in, you see how the grass grabs that spro swivel? Yeah. Oh, he's a beauty. It actually keeps it off the plug sometimes, I think. What do you think? Nice. Yeah, and, and actually keep, keeps your rig clean. That's a nice looking fish oh, right yeah. there. Look at that. That's a beauty. You said we're not going to see a weak fish under five, six pounds, and so far you're right. <laughs> well, the problem is I got to get one. <laughs> now, Terry, this fish kind of slim on the belly. You know, is, is it a, a male or is it, is it another female? No, that's a definite here? female. Yeah. 
And what would it have spawned already? Is it still a little too early for that? No, she may just be a little immature on her eggs, maturing, and uh, she may fill up out in the next week or two before they actually go on to the, the beds and spawn. And what triggers them? Is it a moon or a change in, change in salinity? What's the big factor here? Uh, well, it's salinity is important, but it, it is always around the moons. The new and the full moons tend to be the time they spawn, but they do seek out lower salinity. That's one of the reasons this area is so prevalent for large tide runners is there's abundance of creeks on the west shore that dump out into the salt water here and they like to seek out that lower salinity of mix of okay. fresh water. And that's why you have us popping around from one spot to another, just working these, like you said, once again, working your plan. You said, we tried this creek, we tried this spot, and uh, I think I'm going to get this fish back in the water. Yeah, that's you better let it you know, go. Terry, Terry, another thing you mentioned earlier was that one thing you hate to see is these fish actually up on the flats and spawning. Well, it makes them very difficult to catch. I mean, obviously, it's great to see. But... Oh, it, it's exciting. <laughs> it's exciting for, for the angler, but it's tough for catching. When, yeah. they're, when they're up there uh, and the males are, are finning along with them, it's typically when they're starting to get up on the spawning beds and they tend to go a little bit dormant. They and get they, one they thing just, on their mind. They don't feed when they're, they really don't attack a bait or anything like that when they are spawning. Those like fish are ready to go. There she goes. But that's, uh, that's a good point. I'm sure it's got to be very exciting to watch those fish up on the flats, but you know they're really not going to bite when you see them up there like that. Yeah, it is exciting. I mean, it'll get your heart pumping, but uh, it's disappointing after a day of seeing them and not catching them. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was a lot of fun. I'm going to get back out there. Yeah, check let's my, get another check one. Check my rig. You know, as you were fighting that fish, Andy, this bait just sprayed off this corner about three more times. It almost seems like, Terry, they're laying on that deep edge, and what they'll do is they'll make a run up that bank onto that bait, and then they'll just fall back again. You notice that? Yeah, they're famous for using edges and seams. Probably what's happening is these baits are tumbling back on this drop, and they're just laying in ambush waiting on them. On my last pass, I bounced it right off that edge, back into the fish, right about where we see that bait tumbling. Yeah, there's this little drop here, and as you come off that ledge with the tide, it's going to sweep it down and, and back, and they're just going to be in that feeding station. That, that's what we're trying to do with our lures, right? Hit the side of that slope and work it down the bank. And yeah. it's, it's so important to pay attention to that as you're fishing and look for where the bait's spraying and where the edge drop seems to be and present your bait similar to the way the bait that the fish are chasing after luck. Absolutely. Visit the Northeast Angling website at neangling.com for nationwide saltwater charter directory, fishing news, and free fishing reports. You can also find dozens of techniques, tips, and tackle for every saltwater species. Now let's get back to the action. There he is. Gary, you in? Yeah, we got there one right there. you go. You know, you said this tide's running a little too strong now. We pulled up to this corner. We're in Barnegat Bay. We just anchored up right in this rip. And sure enough, what was that? Second caster into that fish? Unbelievable on the lead head. Nice. Very nice. You know, we got so much bait in the water. This looked like a great spot as soon as we pulled up here. This feels like a good fish, guys. Oh, I got the net. I'm waiting for you. I have a feeling I'm going to be here for a while. Now, Terry, generally when you fight these fish, what do you want to do? I know you want to keep tension on a fish. Tension and steady pressure, Rich. They got such soft mouths, it's so easy to tear them out. So basically just, you know, Stay nice with and them, easy. bring them back on a nice steady retrieve, keep your tip high. Everything they tell you. Wow, he's digging down pretty deep, eh? He's really got his head down you know, in his current. Well, we're anchored here. We're in 9.9 feet of water. And what, we got a 25-foot hole behind us? That's right. And this guy is down in there right now. He's got his head yeah, down Yeah, he's just in laying there. right in the current there. Well, Andy, when we, we pulled up on this, you marked them fish right on a ledge. And we're up 25 feet, right up to 9. They were laying right on that slope, probably just hiding behind that current, right? Yeah, I think the key there was he bounced that jig just behind the ledge, and that's what they're looking for. They're faced up into the current, waiting for the bait to tumble over the ledge. I mean, this is, I mean, you look at this, and you know, these are like ideal weak, and weak fish conditions. We got the fog coming in here. It's, it's all, <laughs> the tide's ripping. I'm telling you, I'm getting very excited. I want to sit here and definitely bank some fish out. Oh, this looks like a really good solid fish, too. Yeah, you can see, look at the amount of weed that's forming up on his yeah. line also. That's always, that's something you got to contend with a lot here, right, uh, Terry? Yeah, the slip gut tends to mess with you on certain tides. You know, <laughs> one of the things you want to do, even if it's a tiny little bit of it on your on your rig, you got to make sure you get that off and keep your lure clean. Yeah, this well. is a good fish, guys. <laughs> this fish has got his head down. Oh, man. A little bit, this is amazing. Yeah. I'm glad that Rich has got, uh, got net duty here. I guess keep fishing. <laughs> you know, Andy, again, we always talk about this. Angler's responsibility, netter's responsibility. Get that fish's head leading towards the net, and we're going to make a go out of it. Work as a team. Work as a team. You have to, right? Look at the amount of weed on this line. Yeah. Give me an idea of the current that yeah. pulls this stuff through here. 
You know, well, the, you the tide's change, and I'm watching the water temperature change. And we first got here, it was in the 70s. Fish it's up down to 66 now. degrees That is already. a good fish, Oh, yeah, that's, that's a, big a real fish. good fish. Oh, he's a beauty, Rich. We're going to take our time with this one. Now, again, fighting this current at anchor. Yeah. Definitely that's, difficult. Makes it very Extra hard. Extra careful. Obviously, if we were drifting, we could work the fish along with us. And it'd be a lot easier of a fight. But this is this is really a tussle. You got yourself yeah. involved in here. Oh, this light tackle, it's... <laughs> This Shimano's really doing it today. That's it. That's a little Sahara he's got on there. It's handling it great. What we got? Andy, what do we put? 10 pound test We got 10 pound line? test fire line in that, and it's helped us because in this hard current, if you put anything else bigger on, Absolutely. your jig would just be floating up and, and completely out of the hit zone. I also, agree. this light rod helps protect you from tearing out. Too heavy a tackle, and you'll tear these fish out all the time. You know, I'm sitting here, I'm hearing explosions in the front, and There's, what that is, is those are the turns that are picking up all the spearing that's laying up along this bank. And as we look back behind us here, we've got bait getting sprayed all over the place. I can't tell what's spraying it, but it looks like there's some more weak fish back Ooh, that behind That is it. a good really big fish, fish, Terry. Just take your time with this one. When you get them close, we're going to put them right in the net. This is a beautiful fish. Now, you told us right you, we were going to see some nice fish here. And boy, that, that looks like a beauty. And look, at he's just stemming that tide. He's got his nose buried down. How do you feel right now? <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no pressure landing this fish, Terry. Don't worry about it. I know you're gonna get us some more. <laughs> oh, it's a beauty wow. fish. That is a good looking fish. He's still fish got right a lot there. of got a lot of juice too. That is a good looking fish, man. You know, and you know, it's amazing about this bite. When does this start? Uh, Mother's Day is traditionally the kickoff when these big fish will start wow. to come up and look to spawn. Oh, look look at that fish. Look All at that right. Fish. Now, I'm gonna put obviously I'm gonna put his head right in the net. Tell you might want to back up a little yeah, bit I'm just to get him to come some... to me. I go. might be here for another five minutes. <laughs> look at this fish. Oh! You know, Terry, this is when you start thinking, how good do I have them hooked? You know? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> the thought has crossed my oh, mind, Rich. God. And the water's running through his gills. It's just reviving this fish. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's just get this fish a little bit closer. I'm going to try to slip back under him. Terry, a little pull. Not yet. We ain't doing Not it. Not yet, Rich. Not yet. Here he comes. Almost had him there. Next pass. You know, it's just one of those things. Just got to be patient. Yep. Exactly. Work the you fish don't want to horse him, obviously. Tension all the way. Wow, that is a beautiful looking fish right there. I'll tell you, I know why people get so excited about these fish. Just looking at the colors on oh, this fish right here. Oh, they're just beautiful. You know, Big yellow tail. If, even if we don't catch this fish, we've seen them for a long time. <laughs> so this is pretty good. I'm very excited right now. Doesn't count until I touch it, Rich. Oh, oh. Actually, I thought it was the leader. <laughs> I might have got the leader with the net. You know, the nice thing is, while you guys are fighting that fish, I'm just changing rigs, <laughs> switching it up. Yeah. Just you want to try can't to, get him this you, last couple feet. Like you want to try to walk back a little bit, Terry? I'm going to go. He's in. There All you right. go. How do you feel right now? He's in the net. <laughs> <laughs> I feel pretty good, buddy. Wow. Let's take a look at this fish. Oh, He's over eight look pounds, at, buddy. Look at the tide, though. I can't even lift him out of the water with the net. <laughs> How the heck did you do that with a rod and reel? Oh, that's a gorgeous oh, fish. Oh, baby. Beautiful. That is a gorgeous that fish. That is a beautiful, beautiful fish. That's, that's what we came for. Here. That is gorgeous. Oh, man. Terry. Beautiful, Rich. Oof. Beautiful. Look at the size of that weak fish. That's gorgeous. That is a gorgeous fish right there. You know, Andy, you and I talk about this all the time. Look at the size of the hole that he wore in this fish's mouth. It's so important to keep that rod tight. That's what kept that jig in there the whole time. It's amazing. You know, you, the longer you fight the fish, obviously, the more you wear a hole, a hole out. But, you know, when you get something this size, Terry, you, you guys, you got to just take your time with it. How do you feel right now? Pretty darn good, That's Rich. A nice nice net fish. job. That is a beautiful, almost a beautiful looking fish right there. Close to 30 inches. Now, Terry, He's got a little bit of, of redness here on the, on the bottom fence. What, you think that's from the spawn or maybe looking for a place to spawn? And maybe up just that shallow from uh, dusting off the bottom. They'll get a little fin rot, typically in the front forms and the back. I can see what, well, this fish was in the water for a long time. I want to revive this fish. Let's get him back in the water. Yeah. And I would thank her for a great job. Yeah, she loaded with eggs. We're going to let her yep, go. You got it. And you know, we talk about this all the time. When we revive these fish, we put their head up into the current. Get some water going through their gills, right? And you better be patient. Just take their time. They'll come back. There's a lot of water flowing here. Oh, that look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Woohoo! Um, we're getting ready to let her go. Yeah, that fish is ready to go. All right. Whoa! Oh, there she goes. Visit the Northeast Angling YouTube channel for hundreds of videos, including full-length episodes, exciting clips, product reviews, and instructional videos. And now, the exciting conclusion of Northeast Angling.
Well, we're back here, Barney at Bay, Terry Sullivan. You just put yourself into a little bluefish, it looks like, Terry, huh? I think so, Rich. He's shaking his head like one. Here he comes. Yeah, I just hit Eddie, something. what'd you get? I just hit something on the swimmer here. You know, you get a nice mixed bag in this area, huh? What else do you run into a lot of, Terry? Oh, you can get some fluke occasionally on these soft plastics. The way we're bouncing them on the bottom is quite common. Well, mine, well, doesn't, feel, mine doesn't quite feel like one of those weak fish, guys. I either have another bluefish here or up. Oh, oh, no, it looks like a bass. Here you go. You got a little blue. Yeah. Hi, Sandy. We just talked about a mixed bag, and yeah. here we go. We got one of one of each species. I want to see if I can get a weak fish in the middle of you guys now. And really be a hero. <laughs> you have the slam. <laughs> there we go. That's, I'll tell you what. In the current, this this little bass is putting up quite a battle. <laughs> well, Andy, you're no stra you're no stranger to them. I caught a couple of I've caught a couple of these in my time. <laughs> now, Terry, they they generally, I guess. Everything's going to seize the opportunity to feed up on these banks with all that bait up in here, right? The bluefish, the bass, the weak fish. That's pretty obvious, so I would think, uh... Rich. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Terry. I appreciate that. <laughs> I'm going to let this little guy go. You got it. There you go, little guy. Right when you, back when down. When you drop him in, don't get too close to the water, though. There's one. Oh, nice, Rich. Oh, look at this thing dig into the tide. Wow, you had that jig way back there. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You know, Terry, you talked about how you want to work these uh, these jigs, the, the bucktails and whatnot, slow off the bottom and just slow, steady bounce. And like that two hit is what he gave me, right? That's what you feel most of the time? Yeah, they're, they're notorious for oh, tapping geez. the bait once. You know, when you talk about that slow, steady bounce, even now, you know, you're, we're barely reeling these rigs. I see you brought yours up here. And I've got mine, you know, I've had this in taking me almost five minutes to get it up the full length of, <laughs> of the cast here. I have a feeling I'm gonna be here for a little while, guys. This fish has just got his head down into the tide and does not want to come up. And I'm actually I'm actually still losing line on this fish. Ooh, I hate playing with a drag when I'm fishing one, but I'll tell you, I'm gonna run out of line. He's got one down top. <laughs> He's got you in that seam. You know what I hit him? He went down into the tide and then he just rolled up on me. I, I got oh. Rich, you let me know when you start seeing the bottom of that spool. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, then Terry and I are going to find oh, I'm something that floats I'm getting in this boat. He's actually swimming at me a little bit now. He's swimming, actually he's coming right at the boat now. Look at this. Look at this. All right, you're going to need that net. coming right up into the tide let now. Let me get the net. He's being yes. very cooperative. Keep doing no, that. I, I got it here, Terry. I got it right behind. Okay, That's good. the right thing. Look at this. Look how he's staying down, though. I would just say she's staying down probably, right? <laughs> oh, nope. I just lost that out. Let me give you some room. I think the, I'm trying to work in that same spot where he just hooked that fish and see if I can hook one up. Fortunately, I don't, I don't have too much of that uh, slip gut on the line here. Oh, oh, oh there's, there's a roll. Oh, there's, there's a roll. Nice. Yeah. Not a bad like a good fish. fish. Not a bad looking fish at all. Oh, come on up here, you. Oh, I got a couple more seconds. I got time to make another cast. Well, you know, you always <laughs> do that to me. <laughs> Terry, you know, you're lucky. You only get to fish with him once a year. <laughs> <laughs> I got to deal with that every day. I'm jealous. I have fish envy. That looks Every like now and then I need him to pull that anchor off, you know, never get up there for me. It takes an extra second. Oh, oh, right. oh. You know, oh, there's that fish. I can see him up there yeah, now. He just came up into that eddy back there. And I'll tell you, they just rolled up in that. It's amazing. I know you're being a gentleman here, Terry, but I just felt I had time for one more cast. <laughs> oh, I got, a lot, I got a lot of weed on this line. That's not helping me at all. Look yeah. at him run up that tide. Here he comes. Here he comes. Oh, you got him. Uh, you know what? You know, Terry? We're not, we're not that far away, guys. Here we go. No, I got it. I got it right We're down here. Definitely not that far away. I got a light. lot of gut on this line. A lot of that, that weed. Let's see if we can get this guy up here at all. Oh, he looks like a nice one, Rich. That's not too bad, right? Good fish. Oh, look at this. And once again, when we're netting these fish, we need the angle. Just lead the, the head of that fish right into the net. I'm trying to muscle him up a little bit yeah. here, Andy. She just got her head on the surface. She's rolling in this tide. We're just going to extend this net a little bit, oh, give us a little man. more length. I'll tell you, I am putting a lot of pressure on this fish. It's a little compre rod, man. You really put these things to the test. Look at this. Oh, man. You know, it's like, you, you, how strong these fish got to be even to swim in this tide? You, know that? you ready? <laughs> yeah, I got it. Here we're we trying, go. we're trying, we're trying, we're trying. Here we go. All oh. right. Five. Nice job. Nice. Man. Good job, Rich. You know, it, it's fish. amazing. It really is. We got the bucktail caught up in the net. Let me see my Yeah, head. can you get it? Oh, perfect. perfect. Yeah, you know what? Like I said, that, that hole that you wear in the side of their mouth from that fight, you can look at that. But this fish, you know, it's in good shape. Let's get her back in. Yeah, let's quick. get her back in. Guys, we're starting to lose the light here. It's about time we start thinking about calling this a day. 
tell you, this was a great trip. You know, we had a lot of fun here. What a beautiful fishery. Well, it was a blast having you guys. I'm glad you were able to get down and get on some of these beautiful fish. Look at her go down. Uh, we're oh, going to yeah. have to get back here next, next season and do this all over again. Hey. Thank you for watching Northeast Angling. You can learn more about techniques, tackle, and destinations as seen on this show at neangling.com. See you on the water.